All right, guys, welcome back to another Afterlife episode. And yes, I'm wearing a turtle head. If you didn't see last episode, well, basically, I started up a new team called Team Turtle. And we already have one member named Mr. Whitefire. So we tried to get another member, but um, yeah, I'll show you this clip of what happened uh, when I was kind of showing Hugh around and then I offered him to join Team Turtle. Yeah, I'll show you what, you guys can watch this clip right now. I fell down. Hello, Blonde Skunk. Hello. How are you? You're you probably bone. wondering what we're doing here today. Yeah, it, called you here. The, it's well, it's like just turn night and um, stars are out. I don't know what this means. I don't know if we're having like a moment right now or what. Okay. Um, um, but um, yeah. For, so what do you want? Never mind that. What we're doing right now is we're trying to fi <laughs> we're trying to figure out how to do the pathways because these pathways have been bugging me for so freaking long. Uh -huh. Just this this outline of uh, yes. uh, light blue wool. Yeah, yellow wool. Yeah, it tells you it tells you what to, to do. The pathways are going to go. Yeah. Um the thing is, mm -hmm. I want to make these pathways cuz it, it's bugging the 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 freaking ticks out of me. Hold on. I got so, I got you. There we go. Oh, I'm going to die how, already. How do I build the path um, to go around your town hall? How um, going to do. Well, well you see, uh we can just go like this, right? Walk this uh -huh. way with me. Come with me. Wait, 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 wait. we need to mark it out. Well, 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 okay, wait, hold on. I might have um some blocks here, actually. No, no, it's fine. We can just use this. All right. I mean, that works better than anything. So we'll go this way. Okay, follow okay. me. Straight. Okay. Just go straight. Okay. Straight. Straight over here. Straight. Just like my Turning. Well, Turn. Yes. yes, a very, very good. <laughs> very good, very righteous. Um, yes. Right here, and then that's it. Oh, yeah, and then if you really uh, want to get it fancy, more complicated, but no, okay. no, you. I've I've given up on uh, this project. How come this? How come this walls all the way over here? Then isn't this uh, out? Yes. How, how this is gonna yes. Be? Um, what wall? What I don't. Uh, I, I don't. I don't uh, know what. Uh, I must have been hallucinating there. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's um, too much LSD. Oh, Dan, interesting. Really gets you. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you. You're welcome. I have a question for you, too. Oh, uh, yeah? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Beware. Okay? Okay. I've started up a new team. Okay? You're welcome mm -hmm. to join. You can think about it for a few days, okay? But it's called Team Turtle. And you, if you okay. want to join, you have to wear a Curse of Binding Turtle helmet. Hmm. Be part of my club. I'm going to build a clubhouse. It's going to be fantastic and everything. Okay? Just so you know. Interesting. What's that? What's that? To... Hold on. Before I can, before before I consider, um, I might have to try on that turtle head, just to ju ju just to see if it's the right fit. Oh, you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just you to should, make sure it fits. It's the you, right size. Oh yeah, you could. I mean, try it on just to see. I mean, those are the one, right ones. There we go. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh. Wait. <coughs> <coughs> I can't breathe. You're gonna. I can't take it off. <laughs> wait, that's not I supposed to work like that. I can't wait. breathe. Uh, Where did uh, my uh, go? Um, I guess. Oh. <gasps> oh, jeez. Right, okay. Oof. All right. All right. I'm fine. Um. All right. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I want to join your club, dude. You, your turtle heads are kind of a uh, suffocating. Oh uh, well, I, they're not supposed to do that. Maybe that was a faulty one. I'm not. I'm okay. Well, that was interesting. Okay. That's. I think unique. I want to join Team Koala. <laughs> Team Koala, okay, great. That's so, that'll be perfect. I'm sure um, the members would be very happy to do that with you. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay. All right, and this is the end of the clip. Love you, bye. So yeah, it didn't quite work out the way I planned uh, for uh, the whole inviting Hugh to be in Team Turtle. He's thinking about starting up a new one called Team Panda, and he said he was going to suggest it to Jay. Now, that would be quite interesting. Maybe have two groups going on the server competing off. Maybe we can do like an arena battle. Team Turtle versus Team Panda. Who knows what may come of this, but I have big plans for this Team Turtle thing. Um, but yeah, we'll work on that in upcoming episodes. But for now, we're going to be working over at the Winter Village today. <laughs> Talk faster, faster, faster. Oh, good Lord, Jay. Anyway, so in last episode, we worked on the actual 
uh, Christmas Village train or the Winter Village train, and I think it turned out pretty good. We worked on the tunnel, uh, did some off-camera work on the track and all, and I think it looks out pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, and I absolutely love it. A lot of the server members like it. I think it's a great addition to the server. Um, you can get a better view of it over here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty darn good. I really like how this train turned out. And you guys seem to like it in the last video as well. So thank you guys for all your support on the Afterlife videos. And as you can see, lots of stuff building up over here at the Christmas Village. Um, I would just like, once we sort of start wrapping up the Winter Village, I would like to just do a, like a full tour of this place and just looking around at it. I think it's it's really just looks so good. Um, <laughs> that build, oh my god. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can see we need more paths going off here. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's looking pretty nice. But what, we, what we'll be working on today is actually up on top of this mountain. Now, the reason why I want to work on top of this mountain is because uh, I feel like it's kind of barren. And I feel like this, this, this sort of needs something up here. I feel like I always, when I see a mountain like this, I'm always like... Yeah, I could build something up here. And uh, generally, usually, I should say, it's usually a castle. So, um, well, I, I, I do have plans to build a castle, but not any ordinary castle. No, no, no. It's going to be a maze. We're going to actually have a maze inside of it. And I was going to have the Afterlife members run through it. Maybe they can do it in their video or just give them a little bit of free content, try to run through the maze or something, try to figure it out. Uh, but it'd be pretty cool. So we're going to be building a castle that is actually a maze that the Afterlife members can walk through. And I think that would be pretty cool. But first, I'm going to be actually digging out to this level right here. So we're going to have to dig out all this dirt down to this level. I'm going to patch some of this up and uh, gather some resources. And then I'll come back to you once it's time to start laying out the castle. All right, guys, so I cleared out this whole mountain over here, and now I just kind of want to lay out everything. I gathered up some resources. Uh, so the main center part of the castle is 17 blocks by 17 blocks. So I guess we can start like over here maybe, and I kind of want it to be a little bit closer to the edge. That way, um, you know what, maybe we'll go a little bit back. But that way, you guys can actually, well, you'll be able to actually see it from the Winter Village. I mean, I think you'll be able to see it either way from the Winter Village. But I don't know how much this ledge is actually going to cover. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You have to do that in the other direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 19. Uh, wait. <laughs> Take two off that. I'm going a bit crazy here. What the heck? All right, so we'll make this go all the way around. I do think that these, the dimensions of the castle, the way I have them laid out, I think they're a little bit different, actually, but that's okay. We'll just make it 17 by 17. And yeah, because that's kind of what happens with my builds when I do them in um, creative. Um, I don't really kind of pay attention to the whole dimensions thing, which I should. But um, yeah, so this is supposed to be seven. The towers are actually supposed to be seven blocks. So right there, that's seven blocks across. And we got to do the same thing on this side. So let's do that one more time right there. And that should be it. Yep. Good. So this, uh, I guess, what are we calling? Well, this castle only has three towers which i thought would be kind of different and kind of interesting um and the reason why i went with this is because I, I don't really want it to be uh this sort of defensive castle it's it's strictly made for uh one purpose and that purpose is decoration okay so i do like the location of this tower kind of right on this little cliff edge right here that's kind of nice we can kind of blend that in too. We can kind of customize the terrain around it if we really want to. These two link up right here. And the third tower is actually on top of this center part right here. And then there's sort of a staircase. I think it's set back by one. And it goes all the way back this way, I believe. I think that's how 
everything's supposed to work out. So we'll leave that there, just to mark it off. Uh, but I think I'm going to get to work on this, just uh, kind of building it up a little bit, uh, just trying to figure out everything. And uh, I'll come back to you with a little bit of a progress update. All right, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of a grand reveal here because I just got done the center part of the castle, I'm making a lot of progress on this build, and I'm very happy with how it's coming along and the way it's looking so far. So if we peek around this corner, as you can see, there is the center part of the castle. Now, what we have to do is we actually have to add a tower over here, over there, and right on top, and that will start to complete it all. But I think we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse on that. I think that'll be a pretty make for a pretty cool time lapse. So as you can see, um, if we go up there right now, currently, um, it's consisting of a lot of. Oh, got to add in fence here. Let's add that in real quick, or I forget. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's consisting of andesite, stone brick, and cobblestone mainly. Um, but using them randomly throughout the build, looking pretty good. This is going to be a doorway into the actual maze itself. Well, actually, what you do is this is the way you get into the maze is you go through here and you go top to bottom. So it'll go from the top of the build to the bottom of the build. And this will actually be the exit. So pretty cool stuff. And this is actually where one tower is going to go. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I'm liking how this build is turning out so far, as you can see. Um, pretty decent sized build, if we just take a look at it from down here again. Um, go on top of the train station. So yeah, pretty nice. I think it's going to add something really cool to this area and kind of just make it feel like that addition of that blonde skunk build into this area, as I like to call it, with a castle or so. Um, I just love building castles on top of hills, and I think this one is looking good, really good so far. So... Yeah, really coming along nicely. Um, so yeah, let's uh, start building those towers up. All right, guys, and there we go. There is the finished castle. Well, when I say finished, the interior's not finished yet. Uh, we're going to probably do that in a later episode coming up because I'm running out of time for this episode. But we got done so much in this episode. We built an entire castle in this one episode, which is incredible, insane. Which, I mean, this castle looks so cool. I think it fits the area quite nicely as well. Um, just overlooking this area. It, I think it just really looks good. So if we come on down this way, uh, to this path over here, I made this path over to White's Snow Globes. By the way, it looks pretty cool over here. Um, yeah, he did like a little bit of, uh, an area going around the Snow Globes, which looks really cool. He did a really nice job on these. 
Um, but yeah, you come past the snow globes and you have a little pathway that leads off here. Now I want to add some more decorations along the sides here, potentially, uh, maybe terraforming this a little bit more. But as I said, uh, running out of time, so can't really do that right now. But uh, yeah, for the most part, this is really looking good. So we have this nice staircase that goes up into the castle. Um, just a simple design going all the way up here. And here you are at the castle. So this is the exit. I'm going to put signs here once the maze is actually done for the interior. Um, so I'm going to put exit here. So right here, we have the entrance. So you go all the way up here. And this is actually where the entrance will be. So we'll have the probably probably the entrance will go maybe in this tower right here. Um, I would have to probably redesign the maze that I already have done, but it shouldn't be that hard to do so. Uh, but yeah, so pretty cool stuff. We just fly back down here once more. Take a look at it from the ground. This is probably my favorite view from it. So um, yeah, just kind of sitting there on top of the hill looking pretty cool. I absolutely love how this thing turned out. I think it looks really good. Um, I definitely, uh, went a little bit more different than, uh, the one I had on, uh, my, uh, creative version. So I had a creative version of this, uh, that I built or creative, um, uh, build that I had of this and, uh, went a little bit different. So like certain, certain things are different. Like I actually flip flopped the blue ice and the packed ice. And I actually like that a lot better um because the darker kind of stands out and makes that trim look really nice so yeah just a few things changes there but for the most part i like it let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what you guys think of this ice castle um i guess we'll call it the ice castle or ice castle or something like that i don't know what we'll call it just yet if you guys have any name suggestions for it let me know down in the comments and below but uh yeah that's gonna do it be sure to check out the afterlife discord and podcast and all the afterlife stuff be sure to check out all the members as well because they're doing a ton of stuff i mean look at this this is crazy i think this was done by mr square mario and white so be sure to check out their episodes on that um as i said white snow globes over there you got ash he's working on a big fortress over there as well i mean and you got kb working on stuff as well you is working on stuff everybody's working on stuff on the afterlife server and it's going really really well so Again, be sure to check out all of the Afterlife members and what they're doing. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe to them. And uh, also check out the Afterlife podcast as well. I've been really enjoying that. The latest one that just went up, I host it, episode 7, I believe. And I hosted that one, and it went pretty cool. Okay, it was great. I loved it. <laughs> so uh, be sure to check that out. And also be, be sure to join our Discord as well, because we have lots of fun in there. But yeah. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. As always, don't forget to be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.